Well, I was saving my Rainer play for when we had the Vulture in the field, but since that requires new, absolutely new friends, well, I'm just not getting it. I'm not willing to put in the time to grind out four alternate or three alternate accounts just to get that. As sad as that makes me. Welcome to Heroes of the Storm. You can do better. I am Padnator, and we're gonna play Rainer. AA build, bog standard. This is mostly for people who have never played Rainer before, but are likely to get him. So you, if you're one of those people, you can. Watch this as well as the gameplay video. For those of you who already know what that's all about, you can skip on straight to the gameplay using the annotation in the... Actually, you know what? Forget the annotation. Just the timestamp in the description because sometimes I forget to put up the annotation and it makes me a liar. And I think people on mobile can't see it anyway. So there you go. All right. Let's take a look at his abilities. He doesn't have a lot of abilities. I mean, he's... He's a pretty simple character. He's basically a giant minion. And that is a bit reductionist, but it's true. He's big, he shoots far, he sees fervor, and he hits hard. It's not a bad thing. It's very simple. And there is depth in the way you play him. There is choosing the right talents. There is positioning yourselves and making sure that you're never caught out. And that is important because he has no real escape. His Q, penetrating round, fire a shot, damaging and knocking back enemies in the line. That's it. If you're looking for a clear ability, that's probably the closest one we're going to get. Inspire increases the attack speed of yourself and allies. Half the benefit goes to allies, the benefit that goes to you, 30% attack speed. Which is very important because most of your damage is going to come from your attack speed. From your basic attacks, rather. Adrenaline Rush? Mm, it says E, but it's automatically activated when you, you drop below 30% health. That's okay. It's a good safety measure, not something you want to really rely on. It's something that can make you feel safe if you need to go in deep. And there will be occasions when it would be advantageous to go in deep. Not all the time, but they will come up. And it's a safety net. As you can see, no real escapes. If he's caught out, he's, he's staying there. He's going to have to stand and fight. Trait, uh, he has increased basic attack range and he sees fervor. It's ab absurdly simple. This is a good character to get started on when you're learning the game and he's gonna stay with you stay good throughout the game yeah i mean throughout your adventures in the nexus because he's always gonna be relevant there was a time when people laughed at him after his after his retooling when he lost searing attacks i believed in him i always believed in him and eventually the meta worked out in his favor uh two heroics as with everybody else hyperion calls down a strafing battle cruiser this is his siege heroic great for taking down forts unfortunately we were on the towers of doom the name of that map always escapes me and the problem with that is taking the forts doesn't necessarily lead to a win it's purely objective based purely team fight based so it doesn't work out as well as you'd hope while taking while taking the forts does have value it only adds value and importance to the objective it does not directly lead to a win, although it could be a good indicator. Rainer's Raiders, his assassin trait, summon two stuffed banshees, didn't attack an enemy. Each banshee deals damage over time and lasts 22 seconds. Yes, that is a long time. Unfortunately, they can blow up the banshee and you can retarget it even while you're dead, so there's always something for you to do. All right, let's take a look at the talents. We're going to go through this real quick because he's real simple. Level one, we're going for full damage, full AA. Season Marksman, kill enemies to gain basic attack damage for every six, well, points of Season Marksman. Minion, minion kills count as one, captured mercenary kills count as one, heroes count as three, level four. And it does say takedown because before we didn't have kills and assists, we just had takedowns. Uh, your, your assists count as takedown, so don't worry about it. Level four, focused attack, periodically empower basic attacks against heroes, good stuff. It, no it used to trigger off minions, but it doesn't, so it's just really a hero-focused killing ability. So you don't have to worry about hitting a uh, minion wave and wasting your focused attack on them. That's a good change, I guess. Level 7. And this is weird, because this is the only real part of, the, of his kit that doesn't directly add to his damage, but it does add a lot of utility to him. Hamstring shot if you want to slow, although this is probably the one... I like to pick the least. It's a good quote-unquote escape tool. If you're getting aggressed on a lot or if people are jumping on you, this may be good. This may buy you the time you need to get back to base, but nothing is gonna keep you safe if you're really caught out. So there you go. But Revolution Overdrive not only helps you, but helps the team because 
when you're affected by your W, you run faster and increase the bonus by by, by five percent for each allied hero when it's cast. It's good, even with an Abifer in the team, I'd take it just so we can run faster and engage harder. We can chase the kills when we need to, we need we can get out when we need to. And that's all good. Fight or flight. It's it's a defensive option. If you really just need more tankiness because you need to stay longer or because we you don't have a support, this is not a bad call. It grants resistance and lets you activate your E so you can manage the cooldowns better. There is some benefit to this. Uh, putting down click. Reduces cooldowns when killing enemies. It's it's the greedy it's a greedy talent. Although I'm not gonna laugh at people who are taking this. I I think it's a fun talent. I, I love cooldown reduction talents, and it'll synergize well with his low cooldowns as well as his, and it will in, indirectly add to his tankiness by lower lowering rather the cooldown on his quote unquote E. We've discussed the heroics level 13 giant killer because they had an ETC and an Asmodan. We're gonna get a lot of damage out of that. Although Relentless Leader was br very briefly tempting just to stop the ETC, but the ETC didn't seem to be playing well. And our Tannis was playing exceptionally well. And we, if worst comes to worst, we just LIFO. We go in last in, first out. ETC should never have a real angle on us if we're very careful. And aside from a few early deaths, we were very careful. In level 16, Executioner, no, we don't have a lot of slows on our team. Maybe we can combo it with Nova, but I'd be more happy if we saw it. If we were in a team with a Muradin or a Jaina, because you can rely on the slows to exist. I went with Bullseye just to stop the nonsense of Asmodan's laser. Berserk is also okay if you want to do more damage, but I went with utility in this, uh, on this tier. It also lets you hit people for longer, because when you hit them with your Q, you can start blinking them down and position yourselves to position yourself in such a way that they cannot escape, because your range is huge. Level 20. Nexus Frenzy. Increased attack speed and range. It just emphasizes his strength's fervor, which is why I like it. This is okay. I mean, I'd actually go for Duskwings if you didn't go for for either Seasoned Marksman or Focused Attack. I think you're going to get a lot more value out of it. A card to play is flashy and greedy. Whenever a hero, ally, or enemy is killed, the cooldown of your heroic ability is reduced by 15 seconds. It's okay. It's more of a win more or a win or a lose less situation, which is not really what you want. You want something that immediately impacts the field. If it's going to come in at 20, it must immediately change the tenor of your play, and that doesn't do it. Scorched Earth, well, I like it. I picked it a lot, but I also like Hyperion. But we went with, you know, Banshees this time. Well, to the Storm, if you want to be play safe, I didn't feel like playing safe. I felt that we needed to commit harder, so I went with Nexus Frenzy. Anyway, that's it. I hope that didn't run on too long. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Well, good news, bad news. Good news is we have a Gazlo, me, Nova, Artanis, and an Aberfer. I kind of like this cop, even though it's a little weird. The bad news is, I think that's a Master ETC for one. Two, they have an ETC, which means they have aggression. Could you pull him? Could you pull him? Nah, that wasn't a pull. We're gonna have to rotate the bot, or to top. Now, Aberfer's got bot covered, I guess. Yeah, I'll go there. I'll go to top. I got this. Uh, actually, I don't got this. That's an Asmodan. He's gonna outpush us when he decides to show up wherever he is. Kill the demon first, weaken everybody. Oh no, that's not his general guy. Where's Asmodan going? He left the lane. Not trying to chase him, are you nuts? I'll grab this. We did go with Seasoned Marksman. We're with damage. Hello. Uh, just leave. Yep, we're. Lorena's a pretty tough character, pretty safe. So I can lurk around here for a while. Before Nova decides what's up. I'm more shocked that I didn't see Nova. So let's pay attention to that. It is free Nova week, but that's no reason to to think that every Nova is bad. I believe we have a Master Nova lurking with us. So let's kill you. Weaken the team. There we go. No wonder Asmodan was hiding. I guess he was hiding for our Nova. Uh, for their Nova. But now pretty much about all that effort was wasted. Which is fine by me. I do waiting for another gank. Because that's neat. The problem is now we have no safe place to hide. Okay, Nova's over there, so that should be fine. Yeah, we have no safe place to hide, because if we hide in the lane, Asmodan's gonna chunk us. If we hide, if we go to... Outside the lane, Nova's gonna hit us. So what do we do? We play safe, we play smart. Last in, first out, we come in from behind. And we do have some leeway with how far behind we want to go. How be far behind our team we want to be. Because we have extended range. And he is a pretty big target. Are we? 
Are we gonna do this? Full? Okay, we're gonna do this, I guess. Yep, that extra range paying off for us. I'm gonna go grab this. And grab focused attack. Nova's probably not here, although I've had to wager, I guess. She's probably here waiting for the last second to give me a poke. She is not. We got our launch off, and we got a level ahead. Starting to like how this is turning out. Hey. Ah, oh, well, we missed that one, but that's okay. Um, that's on me. We should have focused the Asmodan. That can't be the real Nova. Okay. Get out. Get out. Oh, we get we have that thing on us. That's okay. We got heals. Oh, that's the real Nova. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, two pieces of bad play there. One was not queuing Asmodan, which could have gotten us the kill. Two was not. It was moving too far ahead, I think. While we were chasing out the Zagar and we sat in the Hydra for too long, so he does have a lot of damage. That's okay. That's a fast. That's a. That's the last. Def, we're gonna get our our Abifer is playing very well anyway. I'm gonna go back up to top. It's been a while since I played. I've been playing a lot of XCOM where I have the time to sit and ruminate about my decision making. But that is not the case here. It's a much faster game, seeing as it is, you know, real time instead of turn based. And turn based is really my jam. I remember when I was playing Front Mission a long time ago, and when I realized, you know what, maybe loading up people with the weakest stuff just so I can have the most rockets is not that good idea. Let's shoot that. No, no grape jelly for you. No need to go in too deep. Let's rotate over to mid to help out our gas who is about to get ganked. Well, he survived that. Poor positioning on our part, admittedly. Pull him, pull him! Okay. Somebody else has to go down to bot. I'm gonna go back up to top. Aberfur is paying attention to the entire team. That's good. That implies map awareness. I didn't feel the need to stick around here. We weren't gonna lose all that much experience. See? But we gotta respect this push. Yeah, let's get out of that. Yep. Let's do this. Hello? Hello? Uh, I don't want to press my Q? Nope. Oh, there's that Hydro Desk. That's just something we're gonna have to live with now. Okay, putting on a clinic is okay. Could make sure that our ults are always online. But fight or flight gives us resistance, gives us more survivability. That's also good. And that's what lets us activate our E. We're probably gonna go for revolution. Okay, let's remember to interrupt the Asmodan this time. Let's shred this. Let's shred this real quick. Okay, we have this now. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're mounted up and we're ready to rock. And I wanted that vulture so bad in Verainer, but then I found out what they needed to do to get it, and I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend time spare for all the people I know who would have played it are already playing it. ETC's over here, which is bad news for him. Can't chunk him down fast enough, unfortunate. Okay, remember to save the key for Asmodan. Save the key for Asmodan. That's a demon warrior. Hello. Okay, Revolution Overdrive should give our Nova the speed she needs. Alright. No, get back. Get back, you nutters. That's the real Nova. Our Revolution is up. Our heal is up, rather. Oh, we gotta go. Chase is real. Tap the well real quick. Yeah, our guys are fine. Yeah, we're back. We're back. We can get it. We can get it. Uh, let's just defend our Artanis. That's the real one. This is unfortunate. We're gonna die to this trying to help our Artanis. Get away from me, bad Asmodan. No dunks for you. Cannot continue to engage. We'll die. Not worth it. Have to back. I accidentally clicked. My bad. Fortunately, this is not the this is not a map where taking the objective directly correlates to an experience advantage. This is the kind of map where it just it's just a countdown. It's not necessarily gonna determine the end again. Fortunately, their push seems to be happening better than ours. Until level 16, that's gonna be the case. Come on, shove this out. Okay. Mm, it's been a while since I played Stutter Stepping's level week. Okay, we traded Qs. That's cute. Let's stay out of the lane. Yeah, okay. How are our stacks? We got a lot of damage. Okay, Nova's over here. Let's roll. I was hoping he'd look back. Just be silly enough to look at it. 
Okay, mid is pushed in, getting a rotator back to top. Oh, we fell off our mount. We fell off our mount. No eyes on the enemy Nova either. Uh, okay, that's unfortunate. Yeah, get out. Uh, Rainers, Raiders. That ought to do well for us. Okay, that's online, so let's just step out of that. Okay, that's a big push. Let's leave. Let's just hold this. Want to kill that first to weaken the enemy wave. Uh, let's watch out for that dunk. Yep, you can see the black pool. And the black pool does make him hurt a lot. Let's save our cues for him. Might even go double shot. Although we do have the... We do have a lot of HP on them with ETC and Asthma Dance. So Giant Killer, probably going to be a good idea. Okay, it's way over it, but that's unfortunate. Out of three precision. I uh, will have to give it up to them. This should be good. We don't have to. But we everybody needs to be at the right place. Hello. Well, this is cozy. It's Gazdo versus ETC at bot, so that's fine. Gonna I'll protect you. Uh, that's the real one. I mean that's the real Asmodan, obviously. Let's get him. Pull him back, pull him back. Dang it. Okay, time to go. Gazlo is successfully zoning out the enemy ETC, who is a master ETC, if I'm checking that correctly. Gonna tap the wall before we go in. Two of them are down, and we should be fine. After that, that first initial death, and those initial mistakes really wake you up. Almost better than a cup of coffee. Just like the cup of coffee I just had. Come on. Yep, let's do this. Okay, yeah, our starters are a little off. One, two. That's good. What's our speed? Attack speed? Where is that? Attacks per second 1.25, so it's... Eh, eh. Nah, okay, counting like that isn't gonna help, Pat. Let's roll it with our air tannis. Yeah. Yeah, if we we're gonna get that. Gazlo is in danger. We're in no position to help him out. I'll take it. I mean... I'm okay with it. Big wave. It's a big, solid wave to get stacks up. As the damage pushing that, nobody is mining mid, which is fine. Actually, a lot of people are bot, so we're, let's start rolling over there after we've dominated this wave. As the probably gonna stay up here, and okay, we got a kill on ETC. That's weird. Of all the people to get a kill on, I mean, let's see who we got here. Oh, that beautiful. Oh, do I even need to be here? That's the real one. Yeah, we zoned her out. I guess if it was the real one, could have been a fake one, but got smart. I know I only live for like 10 seconds, but I don't want to die. Death is so final in the end until the next clone. Am I the man in the box? Whatever's what is that sound? I heard something. Yazlo is taking care of bot. Uh, yeah, let's shred it. Let's see. Well, we have the significant level advantage, so that's a good start. What is that sound? Oh, it's a dog. Oh, well, that makes sense. Let's go over here now. Let's go handle this. Let's look around here. Artanis is dealing, dealing with Asmodan pro appropriately. Now well, we can try. Okay, free visible. Nova is not visible, so let's keep an eye out for her. And they're just gonna let us have it? Yeah, that's awesome. That's great. That's super. That's wonderful. I gotcha, I gotcha. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I thought. How about you get some Banshees? Unnecessary. And now let's grab this. And now we got both Altars. I know I could have pressed R before this, but what you're gonna do, that's just life. Ooh, good body blocks from our, our Tannis. Unfortunately, we couldn't help her out. and send the R in. I see you. Ah, that's unfortunate. We used our Q. We used our Q. Oh, get him, get him, get him on the way back. Uh, that's That was priority on me. We can take this, but everybody's about to come up. We're weak and there's only two of us. Yep, that's a real Nova. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Should have left earlier. <sighs> Mildly enraged. But you know what? I'm okay with it. Despite that kill, you know what she wasn't doing? Participating earlier. Or maybe she wasn't there to begin with. So we're in a good spot. Ah, I lied, I lied, I didn't get the second one. Mm -hmm. Oh well. 
Let's see, what did their Asmodan build? The lasers! He built lasers! Uh, that's not good. We need to work around that. Oh, let's get in the hole! It looks kind of safe anyway. Executioner, no. Let's get that stun to stop Asmodan. How did people... Oh, well, a straight up Nova Nova trade is alright by me. Let's go defend this guy. Gazo is just holding this bottom lane all by, by, his, by himself. He's a real trooper. Press that R. Pull him, pull him, pull him! Ah, we missed. Okay, let's leave. Too far in, I think. Although Gazo is here and we are kind of well protected. Thank you for the cover, Gazlo. That's super of you. He's gonna tap the well. We don't need to be anywhere near here. Asbadan is visible over here. It's all good. So let's take bot instead. Gazlo has it well under control. Sort of. Okay, Asbadan is there, which indicates that the team should be going there. Yeah, they're, they're going there. I'm just gonna grab this real quick. Ideally, I'm not the one who's gonna grab this. But we're here now. Let's see if we can get... Ah, uh, that's not good. Okay, let's, let's kill you instead. Stay, please. Stay. Ah, uh, yes, you, 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 you. Stun? Yeah, we got him, we got him, we got him. Okay, let's dodge, let's dodge. Let's get out of the way of the Nova. The Nova can kill us. Time to man up. Okay. Uh, that's a two for two. If we can get the Nova, it's gonna be a good one. There's nothing to fight for, there's nothing to fight for. Absolutely nothing to fight for. We already had it. That's fine. Unfortunate, but it's okay. Now we gotta be careful that we're gonna get yanked. And that's super likely, so we're not crossing that threshold. Do not go into the darkness, my friend. Go into the light. Not advice you'd usually hear in any given situation. I'm, I'm gonna lurk here. I'm not gonna pop up there, are you nuts? That's just gonna get me my third death. How much have we died? Not a lot. Less than anybody who we expect. People could be here, so I'm gonna be playing very careful. Let's just poke. Artanis wisely moving out of the way of the explosions. Let's hide, let's hide. Artanis is here so we can use our W to move faster. Thank you, Revolution Overdrive. Okay, Gazlo is here. Getting chased down by those double hydro discs. Kind of a waste if you ask me. No idea where that Nova is. That's not the real one. Okay, now we're behind slightly. Is it deaths? No, it's not deaths. We're ahead. So it's soaking. Like All right, they're, they're denying our abifer. Oh, jeez. This is this is probably the most dangerous part of this entire thing. Actually, just getting there. Hey, Asmodan, you want to die again? Let's move safe. I will ult for him just to make sure that he dies. Get over there. Scan for me. Chase out the Azagar because that mob could be extremely deadly. Let's just chase him out. You guys zone for me? You got this, guys. You got this. Oh, no. That's not going to work out. Uh, ATC. I gotcha. I gotcha. Goodbye, ATC. Well, Rainer got a lot of value out of that. Let's try this again. This time without Rainer. And we got the shots. We got this. Oh, it's starting to work, in, to work out. Despite bad early play, I don't know if that's such a good idea. Yes. Let us capture this mercenary. Ah, we'll do that. You okay, man? Yeah, you'll be fine. I think. Yeah, you'll be fine. I need to get this real quick. Yep, Abifer made the correct call. Yeah, they're coming over there, so let's go over down here. Yeah, they see us there. They see your low health, man. Yeah, sure. We got this. Uh, let's position ourselves safely. Okay, no vision on the enemy team, but they are all up again. And I haven't had to back in a while. Because I died, I guess. Okay. We got that stun. We'll save it for the Asmodan Q. Uh, Nova is lurking for us. And I'm gonna wipe my hand because it's a little sweaty. Yeah, Nexus Frenzy. We're committing. We're, we're hard committing. We have no escapes. But then again, we don't have a real dive aside from ETC. And ETC hasn't gotten that mosh pit off in a while. Or ever. 
He can't be the real one. That's that's absurd. Get out of that. Okay, our tan is starting to move here. So we can start defending. What's the game? The game is kiting. Okay, the people got they they got lurkers everywhere. Let's just send that out there, send that on ETC because we can shred him. Oh, well, ETC didn't get anybody. ETC now. I'll stand in your Hyperion. Oh, that feels good. That, is that the real Nova? That is the real Nova. Huh, what do you know? Let's go take stuff. 4, 8, 12. If we take that, it's down to 1. Either way. Yeah, we're gonna take mid, and then we're gonna take those two. Yeah, there won't be up for a while. This is done. We're gonna take this, so that's 12. Then plus 4 from the boss. That is 18. That is 16, rather. Exactly what we need. Taking the fort, we'll pop, a, pop our shots off to 15, which doesn't matter. Because we'll still need to take the boss to win. Okay. Yeah, that's done. On the way. Let's close this out, guys. Let's do this. You wanna do this? Let's do this. Let's do this fast. I will ult this if necessary. We win. It is too late. We have already won. I believe the Yavin 4 is in range now. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can subscribe to the Dark Buffy Cloud channel so you don't miss a thing. I am Padnator. I'll see you later. Oh, yes. Victory.